Hello everyone. So today I will talk about bibliometric analysis. In fact, I'll talk about one step in that. Let's say we have two databases from which we want to extract data and run the bibliometric analysis on the combined data set. So from Scopus, we download a BibTeX file on any topic, let's say knowledge management. And from Web of Science, we extract a plain text file. Just to repeat, from Scopus, we are extracting a BibTeX file of our topic for our topic. And from Web of Science, we are extracting or exporting a plain text file. Let me share the screen. Let me share my screen. This is the R Studio screen. So first we will load the bibliometrics package. We'll use the library command to load it onto R. We'll run this command. It is done. Since we want to store the output as an XLSX file, we will use the library command to load the XLSX package, the Excel package. It is done. We'll load the bibliometrics data library. That is done. We won't use this biblioshiny. Now, let's say we have saved the extracted file as knowledge underscore management underscore WOS.txt, where WOS is Web of Science. So we create a new variable called web underscore data, and we use the command convert to data frame. Convert to data frame, which is part of the bibliometrics package, and we give the file name, and we run this line. So what we are doing here is, if you see in the console, you are converting your VOS collection, VOS is web of science into a bibliographic data frame. So this is done. Now the next step is to import the Scopus data set. We have extracted the Scopus data set as a BibTeX file. So we are creating a file called Scopus underscore data. Again, we'll use the convert to data frame. And the syntax here is we'll use knowledge management.bib, that is the file name. And the database source is Scopus and the format is BibTeX. So that is the syntax of convert to DF, the name of the file which we have kept as knowledge management.bib, database sources scopus and format is bibtex. Let's convert this, let's run this line. When we run this line, it says converting your scopus collection into bibliographic data frame, it is done. Now the next is combining both data sets. So we create a new file called combine underscore new and the function that we use is merge db source web underscore data is the web of science data set which we have created scopus underscore data is the scopus data set that we have created using the convert to df function and we also need to do another thing to remove the duplicates there would be some papers some conference papers some articles which are duplicates to remove that, we use remove.duplicated is equal to true. And then we run this line. Once we run this line, it says 81 duplicated documents have been removed. Now, the final step is to write this file as an XLSX file, combine underscore new. So we use the function write.xlsx. Combine underscore new is the file that we want to write, and we want to save it as combine underscore new dot XLSX. Let's run this. Let me increase the screen here and we run this file. It is writing and it has written it. Now, if we go to the combine underscore new dot XLSX file and we try to open it, view file, I can open it and show it to you. So this is what we have. So if you see that we have all the data sets, all the data points here. We have 404 files, which is a sum of the Scopus data set and the Web of Science data set. In the original data set, Scopus had 334 papers, 334 papers, and Web of Science had 70 papers. So 334 plus 70, we get 404. So you can see the count at the bottom here. So this is how you 
create the data set this is how you create the data set without using any other software but by using r so hope you like this video in the next video i'll explain how do you combine different text files let's say you're not able to download all the data files at one go because there's a limit of 500 files in web of science suppose you have 20000 files you'll have to download one at a time or you'll have to download 500 articles at a time or bibliometric data of 500 articles at a time so how do you combine that and finally club it with scopus data set and do your bibliometric analysis. Now, once you have downloaded this XLSX file, you can import it as a bibliographic file in BiblioShiny and do your analysis. Thank you for listening.